Hello, I'm IBX Toyka, and this is a video on the internet. And today we got a new screenshot from 4J Studios about Tidal 14, showing us a couple new things as well as a few things how they look in text and stuff. It's really cool. So here it is. Um, as you can see in the middle of the screen, there's an Ocelot plush as well as a Squid plush. Um, two cool new plushes that are, you know coming from somewhere that basically um, in regular uh, fashion they have behind that two sneaky screenshots of Tidal 14. Uh, the top screenshot is Xbox 360. The bottom screenshot is PS3. Uh, no next gen console editions uh, right now, but um, we'll see uh, about those later. It could be uh, just a next gen screenshot next, uh, just so we've got every variety possible. But yeah, so um, if you look, uh, two separate screenshots, I'm going to divide them into two and talk about each one individually. Uh, so in this top one, uh, you can actually see um, it's the Xbox 360 one. Uh, this is showing one of the text packs I do not recall exactly which one. I believe it's fantasy, but it could be natural. Um, it's You can easily tell by the bar, but I, I'm not completely versed in it. Um, but if you look, it shows uh, the creative mode application, uh, basically, of um, this update, because... Um, He's trapped uh, three villagers in the thing, and he intends to use them for trading because he's got some emeralds in the inventory. Uh, it's, I guess he's just, you know, it's showing that you can, you know, use creative and villager trading because he's got the emerald there. Um, as well as this, if you look at his inventory, you can see the the new golden enchanted apple, um, which before wasn't, uh, a, it was actually mostly confirmed, but we hadn't actually seen it before. Uh, that's what the enchanted golden apple looks like. As you can see, it glows as well as being a golden apple. It's really, really good, and it's an exciting feature that you should definitely be excited about. Um, we've got the ender chest uh, on the far right um which if you look on the left there uh, in this text pack the ender chest looks really really different and cool like i, I really like the ender chest design uh, because if you look at if you actually look that is an ender pearl on the ender chest um and then you've also got some flower pots in front of him um as well as the pumpkin pie the carrot and the stick uh, and the quartz block so all new features just all in one in the inventory uh it's you know getting less and less subtle the way they're announcing these which is cool so that people who didn't get it can understand um and overall it's a pretty you know decent screenshot because it's showing a text pack title of 14 a uh, really exciting one at that and i'm i'm excited for it uh, seeing all this new stuff now, um, you know, getting more use out of the old text packs. Finally, just a small thing that answers a lot of questions. Uh, you can see it says Steve Test 8 teleported you to their position. Um, so this confirmed the thing about teleporting. Uh, if you're a moderator, you can teleport people to you. Um, so this, you know, I, I, I presume this will disable achievements. That's how it's, uh, you know, bans into the game. But uh, basically, if you want to teleport people to you because, you know, they're new to Minecraft or you just, you know, don't trust what they're doing or you just want to meet up and, you know, do something cool and creative, uh, then you can teleport people to your position if you're the host or a moderator, it seems. Uh, I, they haven't completely confirmed with a non moderators can teleport, but, you know, it's not looking that way. Uh, so this is interesting. Um, I, I'm pretty, you know, glad that the teleporting system does work that way. It kind of suck if you have to, you know, give them privileges to teleport to you and just kind of trust them. Uh, it's nice that they're doing it that way, and that's a good little concern. So if you look at the bottom screenshot, um, this is the PS3 edition, as you can see from the buttons. Um, and if you are looking at it closely, you can see that it's the city texture pack, uh, which is a really nice thing. And it's a really nice build just at first, you know, really, you know, something you can appreciate. But uh, on the actual things you can see in it, uh, so nice build and background. City texture pack, that is now confirmed for PS3, because this is a PS3 and this is city texture pack. Two things that currently do not work together. So... Into, presumably, it's coming out after Title of 14 um, because of the fact that this is all Title of 14 features. Uh, that's the only thing you really can imagine from it, or maybe it's just, you know, I, it could be coming up for them. But either way, it's coming out at some point with PS3. That's a nice thing. Just later, maybe? Uh, yeah, we'll get to see how that's going to work. Um... Also, if you look at his inventory, I'm going to firstly discuss the two new things. Uh, there is a poisonous potato now confirmed. Uh, it's a really, really small thing. Uh, like, it's, you know, poison, poisonous potatoes are just uh, potatoes with a 40% chance of poisoning you. Uh, but, you know, it's it's still nice that we get those as well. Also, if you look at the potion he's holding, that does, it could just be the text pack, but that does not look like it's actually a potion that's currently in the game. Uh, I believe it is a potion of night eye. I, you know, can't say for 100%. Uh, I believe really nice if that was a new potion. It's kind of exciting, to say the least. Um, then if if you look at the rest of his inventory, you can see that he has an ender chest, um, a red carpet, he has a hook wire trip, a regular potato, uh, what seems to be an enchanted book way there on the left, um, as well as an anvil, and maybe a cobblestone wall or a wither head. I think it's a wither head. So, I don't know if the wither head is another subtle hint at the wither, just being a surprise thing in this update, um, or if it is, you know, just uh, something to throw you off. But, you know, it's something to think about there. It could be coming. It's still not completely confirmed. I wouldn't take this as uh, fully confir confirmed. Um, but what we can tell from this is teleporting is going to work better now. Uh, there's a new potion in the game, presumably, um, and there's also poison potatoes coming. Uh, so three great new things coming. Uh, also, if you look at the screenshot... Um, you can just see, uh, this is a really nice use of the City Text Pack, and it's just it's just a nice thing to look at, as well as seeing all the features. Uh, so yeah, really exciting new stuff confirmed. It's 
it's going to be good. I'm, I'm looking forward to CyberFit 14. Um, if you wonder when it's coming out, it's going to be coming out in the next two to three weeks. Uh, they're pretty much done. They're just bug fixing at this point. And uh, yeah, it'll be good to see where this goes. Um, so yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, you can like it. Let me know. Share it. Let people know about the latest uh, information regarding Tableau 14. Thanks for watching. And here's the outro. Thank you.